Welcome back to the channel guys, I want to talk about Baidao, okay, now something a little bit different this time around, alright guys, and, and we'll see whether it's something that you find interesting, alright, so I'm just late night doing a little bit of research, you know, bored, trying to find something to do, so I thought, you know, let me do a little bit of research on Baidao, let's have a look at the founders, see what we can find, okay, focusing solely on CEO Bastion and CTO Brian. So when I looked on uh, some of the profiles and uh, looked for a few articles, I came across a few interesting things. All right, now one thing I pulled up on Bastion um, is the fact that um, obviously on the website, it says that he's a three time Apple student scholarship winner, okay? Which kind of shows that, you know, he's got a bit of brains behind him. All right, guys, now, Sometimes you have to go looking for stuff, all right, guys. So, so you can, so you can like, like have a look for yourself and see, you know, what it actually means and whether it's important. You know, why is it highlighted? Now, I did kind of come across this video. Now, if you go on Brian's Twitter, you can find some. Oh, uh, sorry, not Brian. Um, Bastion's Twitter, you can find some kind of like old stuff, and um, you see him uh, hanging about with his long hair and stuff like that. Obviously, he looks completely different now. He's more grown up, more mature. He's opted for a different look, which would obviously, you know, um, make him get taken a little bit more seriously in business. You know, the, the more mature you look, the more um, engagement you get. All right. So um, the title says Apple nerd and I can't read German or speak German, but it's clearly a student scholarship uh, recipient. All right. And it's a video just in relation to that. If you play the video, um, it's actually in German. Okay, so I won't play the whole video, you know, as you know, what's the point? I mean I can't speak German. If you do speak German and you can't understand that, you can go ahead and search for that video and you can watch it if it's something that interests you. I mean it is from back in 2016, alright, but the internet does record history sometimes, okay? So that's something that I found interesting, pulled it up. You can see a young bastion or a younger bastion. Um, doing his thing there, you know, extremely happy. Look at that smile on his face. Extremely happy to be accepted into Apple on a scholarship opportunity. And, you know, he's obviously a bit of a computer whiz for the fact that he was, um, um, you know, part of that. Okay. So, yeah, that's something interesting that I thought I'd share with you guys and those waiting for Bidow to launch. All right. Um, this is def definitely something. Um, that you might be interested in. Okay, now another thing is Brian Condonanza. Okay, I can never get it right. Okay, Condonanza. Conden Anza. Brian Condonanza. Okay, Brian Condonanza. Um, obviously, we know that he's spoken at TED Talks. You can watch the video there. Now, you must have some credibility behind you to be invited to speak at TED Talks. I don't think people invite themselves to go and do these things guys all right but there's some other interesting facts all right some of which you can pull up from his linkedin profile okay and we'll have a look at that in a minute all right but uh let's just have a look at what it says on this website now bearing in mind um this uh, article does not list um who the author is what day it was written or anything like that but there are several other articles that do have that information okay now the reason that i chose this one is it just has one little extra thing in it that i thought it would be better to share as well uh this that's the sole reason that i chose this article over another but a lot of them they do mirror the same information they're basically basically saying the same thing there is one thing that's that, 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 that is different that was listed in this article which is why i've chosen it okay so it starts by saying that brian is a young entrepreneur and businessman from Argentina. He has worked as an advisor on different blockchain startups and currently 
He is Chief Technology Officer of BuyDAO, a decentralized crypto and finance startup. He also previously founded Fluo Shoes, a very popular LED shoe company in 2018. Then it goes on to say he gave a speech at TED Talks and talks about his date of birth and stuff like that. Now, Fluo Shoes, that's interested me, okay? So, we weren't looking for that. All right, Fluo Shoes. If you don't know what Fluo Shoes are, you might have seen them about that. Oh, that is these, all right? Now, I've definitely seen young, um, you know, 12 year old children maybe uh, wearing these. And I've seen them on four. Oh, yeah, you know, it hasn't really shocked me or thought, you know, oh, wow, look at those, you know. And um, we have seen a lot of shoes like LA Gear when I was a young kid. And, you know, it's definitely something that appealed to me when I was a kid. But, um, yeah, it's quite gimmicky. And I guess it's good for like a music video or something like that. And um, there are celebrities to be rumored, of, rumored to have worn them. But I can't find, really find any information or pictures of that. Um, but yeah, that is a, that is the rumor that maybe once upon a time celebrities have endorsed these. Okay, but they do seem to be selling um, still at like around thirty dollars. All right, and Brian Condonanza, he's behind this company. He's the founder of that. So that that's you know just a little bit of evidence to prove that you know he's got some experience in creating a product, launching it, bringing it to market. Okay, fluo shoes. Um, still being sold today, all right. That's exactly what they're trying to do with Buy Dow is create a product, right? Launch it and bring it to market. Except it's not in the clothing, retail, and footwear sector, it's actually in blockchain, okay? So, moving on, um, it's got some inf more information about Brian, a uh, picture of him with his father, and then we've got. Uh, some interesting facts and information of, of, of Brian Condonanza. Brian is one of the most influential young entrepreneurs from Argentina. Bold statement. He says he came in the top 100 young entrepreneurs in the world. Okay. Now, top 100, I mean, that's pretty good, right? So I thought I'd do a bit of digging. Okay. And one of the things I found was Brian Condonanza top 100 most powerful young entrepreneurs under 25 at the time this was back in 2018 but he actually ranked 12th in the world according to this um according to this website and this chart okay now how accurate that is i don't know okay but that's on rise global okay so yeah definitely interesting to see that all right, ranking number 12 out of the top 100. Okay, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Another thing was, is that, um, okay, let's just read. Brian was always interested in marketing in different ways since he was always good at finding how things work and see what others are doing well. He started working as an advisor in the company before he became chief technology officer of Baidao. Brian works as an advisor in numerous companies he always worked as an advisor in different companies because it was very easy for him to understand the market and find direction in what is going on. Okay. Brian also interested in newer industries which led him to the blockchain industry. Today he is a Chief Technology Officer of Baidao. Uh, Brian is also CEO and founder of Fluo Shoes. Uh, e-commerce company that popularized LED shoes among teenagers and younger people. He took his company to pop culture fame and had their products shared by celebrities and influential media outlets like BuzzFeed, HuffPost, New York Mug and the New York Times. Brian is also the editor-in-chief at Revista Bitcoin. He is one of the most famous Spanish magazines dedicated to Bitcoin. Okay. Uh, so Revista or Revisa, okay, might as well do a search on that while we're reading it, okay, while you guys are with me. Uh, Revisa, okay, where am I looking, where am I looking? Okay, so as it said, it's a Spanish magazine. All right, and Brian was the editor in chief on that. Okay, um, now I don't know what I'm reading, so I might just uh, abandon this search on that and just take the word for it in the article. Okay, 
Um, but yeah, that's interesting to know as well. In June 2018, Brian participated in the UN, that would be the United Nations Youth Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. There he presented the role of the representative of his native country, Argentina. He discussed diverse topics ranging from sustainable development to, to disruptive technologies like cryptocurrencies and blockchain. So he's actually presented this at the United Nations headquarters, okay, in New York. All right. And now what is the UN Youth Assembly at the United Nations, okay? So I've done a bit of research on that. So the Youth Assembly is a unique platform that cultivates a global network of young leaders and change makers through exchange, education and entrepreneurship. So he's been around, okay? If you look on his LinkedIn profile, right? We know that he's spoken at TEDx, okay? And that's something that he highlights a lot, okay? Something that he's obviously very proud of. We know that he's the CTO of Baidao since August in 2019, according to the LinkedIn, all right? Got TED, uh, TED Talks again there. Youth Assembly Delegate, okay? So back in February 2018, Greater New York City area, okay? Advisory Board Member at IDACB marketing advisor at pod miners okay so I, I know i saw that before pod miners okay there's an article on media.com about that and also there's something on twitter about it okay but let's just have a quick look at this welcome brian condenenza as advisor on the pod miners board Brian Condenenza is an internet entrepreneur and blockchain advisor. He currently serves as an advisor on different blockchain startups such as Beat, Bitrus Exchange, and Bolt Sports. Okay, so he's, he's, he's been involved in a few things, guys. You know, he's, he's not, you know, he's been about. I mean, what was you doing at, at, at that age? You know, how old was he around then? Uh, this this is like a year old, this article. Uh, last year, Brian gave a TEDx talk in Switzerland about the future of blockchain technology and the use of the cryptocurrencies and crypto assets. Um, his TED talk currently has over 100,000 views on YouTube and hundreds of comments, making it one of the most viewed TED talks on the topic. Okay, I didn't know that. He also participated in the UN Youth Assembly and so on. Okay, and uh, that's about pod miners, as you can see the official uh, picture. No announcement of him being a part of the team right here. Brian has joined Pub Miners as chief marketing advisor with his expertise. All right, now don't know much about Pub Miners, but their Twitter is not very active, okay, and it hasn't been since October 2019. But nevertheless, Brian was advising on that. Going back to what I was saying, all right, he was actually a hackathon judge as well on Unite. 2030 back in 2018 so he's definitely been getting about guys i mean going back to what i was saying i mean what was you doing at his age you know obviously bastion he's a computer whiz you know if it, it reminds me of uh, apple okay so you've got uh, apple you've got steve wozniak and you've got steve jobs right but steve wozniak was the computer side of things the technology side of things the coding all of that sort of stuff you know, as far as I'm aware, Steve Jobs couldn't code. He wasn't a computer whiz, but what he was, he was a he was an exceptional businessman. You know, he was good at getting in front of people and presenting. Okay, so that's what he did with Apple. All right, he basically met up with Steve Wozniak, saw that Steve Wozniak was a genius, and thought, okay, how can we bring this genius to market? All right, they teamed up together, and Apple was formed. All right, now you can see you got Bastion. Okay, and then you got Brian Condonanza. Okay, you got the businessman. All right, uh, the brains of the business side of things, and you've got the computer whiz. Them both teaming up together. Okay, and then we see loads of partnerships come in. You know, uh, this will be Brian's work here. All right, and then uh, Bastian's work will just be getting the project up and running. You know, giving us videos about the test net, uh, the main net later. You know the wallets all that sort of stuff bastion just is a computer whiz and they've both dived into blockchain and big things are coming potentially for by 
okay so i think i'll just end it there it's getting kind of late guys all right i'm just wanting to bring you this video now it's the first of september actually it's the second of september now considering the time that it is early in the morning in the uk but yeah i mean pretty soon you could potentially see the ico coming to an end and we can potentially see this begin to get on some exchanges all right guys and i'm really excited about what by can do in terms of price action and really excited to see where this can go in the long term all right guys so that's it for now subscribe to the channel leave a like and a comment down below let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think about these guys all right and i'll see you in the next video